Prime Time. How to be safe in America. When you see faces of missing children like these, it's hard not to wonder whether they were lured out of sight. Or did they resist? Or were they tricked into leaving a parent who was distracted on the playground or out shopping? That's what this next report is about. The tactics child abductors know can lure children away. Chief Correspondent Chris Wallace says it's time parents knew them too. According to the Justice Department, there are more than 100,000 unsuccessful attempts a year by non-family members to abduct children. Close to 5,000 are taken. And some experts say that the real numbers are much higher, that many kids listed as runaways have in fact been abducted. I like to tell you a little story and give you a little prevention tip. Ken Wooden is a child safety expert. He's interviewed more than 1,000 molesters, studying the lures they've developed to persuade children to go off with them. The reason the lures are effective is that they do two things. They short-circuit the thought process and they short-circuit your basic instincts. We went with Ken to a playground in Arlington, Virginia to see just how effective these lures are. Debbie Beard said that she often talked to seven-year-old Patrick about not speaking with strangers. So you don't think Patrick would go off with a stranger? No, I don't. I asked him that this morning. He said, no, Mommy, I'd kick and scream and run the other direction. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick? Here, Patrick. My little puppy. Name is Shorty. And we're looking for him. He answers to the voice of little girls and little boys. And we're offering a reward of $10. Would you help look for him? Here, just hold the picture. Say, say his name is Shorty. Can you say, here's Shorty real loud. Shorty! Good, good. In 32 seconds, Ken had Patrick following him, looking for the lost puppy. He's walking right out of the playground and right up towards the gate. Shorty! Dreadful. <laughs> Ruined my day. Something I'll have to discuss with him much more thoroughly than I've ever thought I would have to do. And Patrick wasn't the only child to go with Ken. When four-year-old Drew heard about the lost puppy, he was out the gate in seconds. Ken also lured two brothers, six-year-old Ronald and Hillary, age two. Johnny! And then there was five-year-old Mika, the daughter of Margaretha Netherton. When you see her walk off with that man... I huh? get a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach. Just then, Mika came over to tell her mom about the man she'd met in the playground. What has mama told you to do when you see a stranger and a stranger comes up to you? What has mama said to do? Run away, but... Run away? Why didn't you run away? Because Could she wanted have... me to find Shorty. But What's you know the what? biggest single mistake that parents make in alerting their children to the dangers out there? Basically, they say don't talk to strangers. And, you know... In the eyes of a kid, a stranger is some uh, character who's very scary and a monster type. And in reality, he comes off as a nice-looking guy who's engaging. 